Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today's dinner, I'm starting at uh, midday because I'm going to be putting in the slow cooker today. Uh, so we're doing a slow cooked beef uh, with roast vegetables. I got this idea from a restaurant I went to um, which gave us roast of the day. And as I ate the roast today, I realised that um, the beef was actually slow cooked. And I thought, here we go, it's a good idea to use cheap cuts of meat and turn it into a really nice meal. So the meat you can use um, in your slow cooker are things like gravy beef, chuck steak, uh, I think blade steak. They're the cheapest cuts of meat that you get at the supermarket. And you can turn it into something really yum. So, um... We're not the ones that I've got today um, is diced already because it came like that um, in our in our meat pack. But if you can get um, big chunks of chuck steak or blade steak or gravy beef or any of those things, then leave it um, in pieces about that big because it makes it um, it cooks slow, but it cooks um, it's nice and soft. And if you get big chunks like that, you can put it on your plate as a as a as a big piece. So um, mine will be diced today because it's already like that. But um, if you can leave it into big chunks, if you get it from the supermarket like that, then that's great. And this is a really cheap way to make a really yummy meal. Um, if you're off to work, you can put this on in the morning and and let it go and get home and it smells delicious. Um, or if you wanted to start it at midday, it gives you still four or five hours cooking time the only difference would be if you put it on in the morning when you leave for work put your slow cooker on low and if you started at midday like i'm doing then you need to put your slow cooker on high so normally you have things like that if you don't have a slow cooker then uh, you could potentially do it in the oven in a casserole dish on a low heat setting um heat setting but um i've never paid for a slow cooker in my life and this is my second one my first one broke um, a lot of people have them sitting around at home. My mother-in-law had this one sitting around at home and I was cheeky enough to ask, do you ever use that? And she said no. So that's why I've got it. Um, people give them away. You can find them on Trade Me relatively cheap. And we use it um, pretty much every week in winter. So it's a real good um, it's a real good appliance to have. So ingredients-wise, I've got my diced um, beef over there. I've got an onion. And two cloves of garlic, which is my standard. I'm going to slice them up. I'm going to chuck it into the slow cooker. I'm going to put in some Worcester sauce. That's hard to say. Um, probably about, mm, I don't know, a good glug. Two tablespoons. And then I'm going to cover, the, just cover the meat with water. You don't want too much liquid. And then I'm going to set it to high. And I'll be back in about four or five hours to show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, so I'll just quickly show you how much of this I've put in. Um, it's about that much. Uh, if you don't have any uh, Worcester sauce, then you could use soy sauce and then just add in some spices and some herbs as well because this has got spices and herbs in it already and um, tastes pretty good. I've also boiled the jug so that the water I do put in here is already hot. In terms of a slow cooker, um, they say that every time you take the lid off, uh, it's about you minus about 15 minutes of cooking. Um, so you want to keep the lid on as much as possible. And you also, if you start off with hot water, just gives it a bit of a head start. So giving it a bit of a stir. I don't want too much water. Obviously, you don't want it to boil dry either. Um, but you just want enough, just enough. To cover it all looks a bit I don't know if you can see that I'll um I'll grab the video and show you okay so that's how much water I've got in there just enough to cover it I'll probably stir it a couple of times maybe two times between now and four or five o'clock so four or five hours from here um, and that will fill the house with lovely aromas Okay, so I'm back to do the vegetables and the rest of my meal for tonight. Um, I'm going to roast uh, all of these vegetables here. So I've got uh, kumara, I've got parsnip, 
uh, I've got carrots and I've got um, potatoes. Um, sometimes I also add in beetroot, roasted beetroot, uh, beetroot and um, sometimes I do yams as well but pretty much the more vegetables you can get in the better. So I'm just going to cut these up into about that size chunks, try and get it even so that it cooks evenly. And then I've got my oven heating at 200 degrees and I'm going to melt some coconut oil and then get these going. Okay, so I've cut all my um, veggies up and I've also melted um, the oil in the pan. Um, I'm just going to put these all in and give it a stir around um, and then I'm going to season it with uh, garlic and herb salt. I often use all-purpose seasoning or um, I make my own which is salt and pepper and cumin or paprika or whatever you want really you got to put a bit of salt on it and a bit of, bit of seasoning um, otherwise it tastes just a bit bland okay so um, just give these a good stir to coat them with the oil and um, then what I do is potatoes are a little bit more hardier but cook, cook a little bit longer than the Especially the kumara, it gets quite soft pretty easy and same with the parsnip so I will put all the potatoes at the bottom and then I'll put the kumara on the top because what happens is it gets stuck to the bottom of the pan and it's really hard to get off so um, I'll layer it, layer it a bit um, I'll show you how that do this again and um, this will go into the oven for about an hour. There's quite a bit in here, so I take a bit to cook. So I've just timed it so that um, I, we have dinner at 5.30, so this will go into the oven about 4.30ish. So it's ready to go at 5.30. Okay, so this is ready to go in the oven and um, looking good. There's probably quite a lot of veggies there for just three of us, but um, roast veggies in the fridge are pretty nice to have next day um, and anyone who knows me well knows that I'm a bit of a sucker for a roast spud so I can't have too many really so chuck this in the oven 200 degrees fan bake for an hour or so giving it a shake halfway through okay so I've got my um, vegetables in the oven cooking I've been in there for about 45 minutes or so 50, uh, 40 minutes um, my slow cook is pretty much done and looking awesome so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next um, there's quite a lot of options you could do with this um, potentially uh, I'll quickly just show you what it looks like it's quite hot that's all okay so you've got the meat in there there's quite a lot of liquid what you could do is you could um, use your back of your spoon and smash that all up and thicken it and then you can make yourself a pie it's basically how you make filling for, for steak pie but what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain the liquid out and I'm going to make my own gravy very similar to the way that I did it um, for my chicken and then I'm going to serve it as a roast so the meat I'm going to drain the liquid out there. I'll leave a little bit left in there so it doesn't go too dry. So that's basically a really nice beef stock. And I'm going to boil that up, put some veggie water into it, and thicken it with my flour and water. And, um, and I'll show you what happens next. Okay, so this is the last little bit um, to go. Um, I have here uh, my gravy. I have here my thickener, so that's just basically a couple of teaspoon, tablespoons of flour and always use cold water, um, use hot water you'll go lumpy, so cold water just mixed up, so that's just my thickener and then in my back pot here I have boiling my um, peas and corn um, I'm going to drain the liquid out of there into this one here and then I'm going to add the thickener um, just with your peas and your corn, your frozen veg they're already cooked, so you only need to heat them. So as soon as that boils, I'm going to turn it off and drain it. Um, you don't need to boil it forever in a day. It just um, makes it taste yuck. So I'm going to add some of that water into here, and then I'm going to add my thickener, and that's my gravy. 
Okay, so you want to stir vigorously at the same time as just dribbling that in. And then you definitely want to taste it. And it might need a bit more salt, or it might be awesome. Um, if you need to do a bit more thickener, then do that. If it's too thick, add a little bit of more of that water, but that's looking pretty awesome. Okay, so I just got my uh, veggies out of the oven. Um, looking pretty good. Uh, my meat's all ready to go, my gravy's ready to go, and uh, my veggies are dish up, and I'll show you what we've got for dinner tonight. Okay, so here's tonight's slow cooked beef roast. Uh, and the gravy going on. Delicious.